All right. I want to carve this little giraffe that we have here. Just a little afternoon project you can do. Now, what we have here, just gonna go down the middle of that, is just a little giraffe. And first of all, what we're gonna do is bring this tail down just a little bit. Now be careful, it's just thin. And uh, that tail's gonna usually come up to about right there. So, we wanna kinda cut that right there and we just wanna bring that tail down just a little bit. Trying to find some little animals that we can carve, little birds, little things like that, in other words, that, that uh, we can enjoy doing. Uh, small, pro uh, easy projects, projects that don't take a whole long, lot of time. We try to do that. Of course, I, I drew the little uh, thing in the middle here so that we could kind of figure out uh, our sight line in the middle and sort of figure out how to go. I'm just going to bring it down about that far. Now, let's go ahead and go to the head. And, of course, the neck on a giraffe is very, very, by the way, I'm sorry, this is, this is a one inch thick, this is one inch thick basswood, and now the neck, of course, is very, very uh, thin on a giraffe. So we're going to just bring that neck down. And we're just going to kind of We brought that neck down, and now we're going to start bringing this body down a little bit on both sides. Okay. Now, this will be probably the Dip, most difficult part of the whole project is the legs which we will uh, bring apart and we're going to bring them apart quite a bit This is always, this part right here, this cross grain is always the difficult part because it's always much harder to work with. Okay. And let's do it back here. We're, of course, we're going to bring them uh, apart quite a bit more. We're just kind of establishing where our boundary lines are. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start separating these legs a little bit more because They, they, they're, they're separated a lot more than what and it's just a matter of t using V cuts as we go down it 
cutting back and forth. Now, if you can get your band saw in there, get a coping saw in there and cut it, you know, first of all, that would be great. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and try to separate the legs as much as we can but with a knife. Okay, yeah. Woo! Slipped there a little bit. Let's see. Uh-oh. I, I nicked myself a little bit. I didn't even see that. It was so small that I... There you go, folks. It don't take much. I just nicked the skin is what I did. But i tell you what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to go get a Band-Aid. Because I'll, I'll get... I'll get Because even when you nick yourself, you're going to get blood. I'm going to go get a Band-Aid. And uh, use it as a thumb guard. I can't. And, uh, uh, see? Ain't that sweet? We all do it, folks. And But, but you know, it, what's funny is, see that? That's just a little old, tiny, tiny nick right there. But it's going to bleed. And I don't want to bleed all over my carving. So what I'm going to do is go put me a Band-Aid on. I probably should have had one on to begin with. And, uh, uh, I'll be right back. <laughs>